Hey, what is going on, everybody? I am back today with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Nexus. And I am going to be using my Ghost Trick deck. Because I accidentally showed off some of it in, in yesterday's video. Well, not yet. In the last video, and it's got every single Ghost Trick, Kumas Reborn, all the God Cards... Three Aroma Jars, Mount of the Bounds, Terraforming, just to get the field spells out quicker. Most likely this one, because I believe one of these lets you w grab the other one quicker. I don't remember which. Three Ross Disciples, just to make these guys easier to bring out, because when you summon one, you can special summon the other two. Crash Bug X to Z, in that order, X, Y, Z. And Super Crash Bug, three Ghost Ogres, an Ash Blossom, and three Swords of Revealing Light. And this entire deck is main purpose is to bring out these two, hence all the level ones. I'm sorry if I seem a bit mad in this video. This is my third attempt at recording this. Now, let's get into a duel. I'm going to go here, go into old format, because link format only lets you bring out one extra deck monster. And that kind of foils the plan of uh, 13 and 31. So let's duel. <sighs> bloop, bloop. Bloop. And they get to choose. Hopefully they choose first, because, uh... Once again, this is a second turn deck. Ooh, I got my Ghost Ogre. And my Aroma Jar, that's good. Aww. Set. Ah, <laughs> I always make the mistake of accidentally hitting Summon. Not this time. Okay, so if they special something, something... If they special someone, well, a monster very powerful, I can destroy it instantly with you, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. I don't know that's what I, I don't know why that's its name. It's very confusing to me. And I've only brought out both of you, these guys once, and then somebody, uh. Use something very stupid. This makes me depressed. Odd Eyes. The last Odd Eyes deck I went up against annihilated me, and I think I'm gonna annihilate you. No odd eyes for you. What do you do? Pendulum switch? We target one. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that's very interesting. Well, jokes would be on them if they ever attack my aroma jar. Because aroma jar cannot be destroyed by battle. And if I get my field spell at all while aroma jar is face up. I'm set, because with the field spells, you cannot attack face-down monsters, but if all monsters are face-down, that's a direct attack. Hmm. 
Man, this thing's all about them. The dang. Oh my. And he brought the other one back. Of course. Aha, <laughs> you were tell oh, no, please don't tell me he has an effect negate. He doesn't Dang Nabbits. Yeah, it's clear these guys won. Well, this guy won. Oh, you see? Three. I'm quite literally... I lost. There's no doubting it, I lost. I flipping straight up lost. Do I want this? Not yet. Oh boy. You know what? It's obvious that they won, and uh, that's going very slow, so I'm just gonna exit out of there. And start a new duel. But the second I see an Odd Eyes, I'm leaving immediately. I hope you all know that, because Odd Eyes is... Whew. Boy. Well, you saw what they did to a Roman jar. Okay, I got Sphere Mode. Ghost Trick Knight. I've never seen this one on... Enact. Are you kidding me? Is that a new card or something? Because this is the fourth time I've seen it. Nice try, Ash Blossom, baby. Destiny Hero. Danatag? I, I don't know. I'm gonna set this. Set this. And I believe you have a. Uh... Okay, that's a good ability. If this person brings out three monsters. All three of them are going bye bye because, um, what can I train that with? Uh, nah. Reveal, Frost, making her invincible. Because she's going to need to be invincible. What? Do the ghost tricks have to be face up? They might have to. Look, I've never used this card before.
Yep. That's why ghost tricks are good. If you play them right. And I control a ghost trick. So no more flipping for you. Ah, dang rabbits. But on the bright side, I know what this person's gonna do. They're gonna bring out another monster. And they... are gonna have three monsters all together, and I can bring out Sphere Mode on them. So, uh... Yeah. It's their main phase too, so they cannot battle me anymore. It's great. Did they? Oh, that is buggy. That is buggy. They use destroyer to get destroyer, or however dangerous. However, you say that. What? Well, anyway, say bye bye to all three of these guys. You're gonna see why uh, sphere mode's one of the best versions of raw. Summon. Boop. 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 Bang! Yeah! That's why he's so good. He can't be targeted for attacks. He can't be destroyed by battle. He can't be destroyed by card effect. He's great. And when he and he can come back to your side of the field and he can help you bring out Raw. Raw himself. And if you bring out Raw using sphere mode, well, the best part happens. Raw comes out with 4,000 attack and a new special ability that almost nobody knows about because they'd never do it. Four thousand. Oh, <laughs> why switch to the battle position? You're not gonna need them. Oh, you honest? Booyah! Unless he does piercing, I am still in the game. Ghost tricks are fun if you use them properly. Now, come to me, my sphere. Come to me. Oh, even better. Mound of the Bound Creator. Activate sphere mode. Special summoning. Raw. Activate Raw's effect. Paying a thousand and destroying 
him. Battle. Direct attack. That combination is amazing. I've never done it. I've never gotten a chance to do it. But I love it. Okay, I'm just going to ask this guy something. Because this is like the manyest time he's done this. Like, what the heck? Oh, short by it. Oh, surrendered. Well, anyway, sorry you guys didn't get to see uh, the main purpose for this deck. But at least you guys got to see an amazing play. Something that I'm pretty sure no one's ever done. But yeah, that's going to conclude this episode. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.